at uh, this side in the currency world definitely summer markets we had euro yen peak above the 50 high here but then reversed quite quickly back down to where we started the day 129.20 euro dollar printed up to 73 but then has come back 50 offered uh, in general nothing is going on sterling is marginally higher Manufacturing PMI did really nothing. Aussie and Kiwi have come back a bit, but Kiwi, especially, this looks like a fade. One of the things we're focusing on now is this these tops here in Kiwi 6850, 6830, 67.83. <clears throat> looks to uh, looks to us that this is now going to take the next leg down, and we should uh, visit 62.50 uh, in the coming months. So core short kiwi is something that we're looking at. I haven't quite pulled the trigger yet. Hopefully we'll get some price action close to 80 today, uh, so we can put that fade on. What else? Equities pretty bullish. Uh, up four tenths of a percent, but smack in the middle of the range. Really uh, meaningless pre Fourth of July trading. My suggestion would be take the afternoon off, watch from afar. Things get mildly interesting if we can get dollar yen after a new high below 60 today. That's bearish engulfing. Even though it's only 26 points away, it seems highly unlikely in this kind of marketplace. Um, so we're going to be watching from afar. We were not taking much risk at all. Uh, doing some admin, taking care of some other things in our lives. We got 4th of July tomorrow, which should be equally as crummy trading. And then maybe things pick up 5th and 6th, uh, the 6th being uh, non-farms. So with that, I just wish you guys good luck, keep it light, and I will talk to you tomorrow.